So I felt like making a bit of a different video today. Today's video is called Terrible Cartoon Shack. Today we will be looking at dubs of cartoons that just don't make sense at all, or just the irony of it being in such a language. Stuff like Sailor Moon, in Russian, Puff and Rock being in anything but Irish, and Peppa Pig in Feroz, for some reason. So let's get started. I should also mention I'm sick right now, so if the audio does not sound very good, yeah, that's probably the cause of it. Let's talk about an Irish cartoon known as Puffin Rock. Now if you live outside of any of these countries, you probably didn't know these things existed. This here is a puffin. They live in cold climates, so places like Ireland, Iceland and Greenland suit them perfectly. The funny thing about this show is, it's been translated into all these languages, but not Irish. When the show was produced in Ireland. Icelandic I understand, because according to Google, roughly 60% of the world's population of puffins live in Iceland, and I can kind of understand Ukrainian because of the refugees there are all across the globe. But then there is just the languages that make no f***ing sense, such as Brazilian Portuguese, Mandarin, and Greek. Has anyone in Eastern Europe even heard of a puffin before? I suppose bird watchers have, but my guess is most children in Greece, Albania, and Croatia think these are fictional beings, except for that one smartass in the class that knows everything. Even though this show isn't available in Irish, who the hell is gonna watch it in Irish over the English version? If you said Irish people, we don't speak Irish in 95% of the country, so it would basically be for learning Irish in junior infants, or first grade as you Americans call it, or just whatever they throw on the TV on the Irish speaking TV channel TG Car. In fairness, I can't really complain all day about a kid's cartoon not being a language I barely know myself, so we're going to move on to another show now. Someone put in the hard work for me, so I'm just gonna read from this page. Name another combo of two things that just don't fit together. Like, let's just say, using an Intellivision controller to play Miles Morales on the PS5, air frying Haribos, or emulation the Switch on a Razer gaming toaster. You cannot compare, though, a mix between Russian and Japanese culture. That's how you end up with funky stuff like Sailor Moon saying something like, SUKA BLA! Now I'm making sure to have a VPN turned on just to keep these lovely chaps off my arsehole. Now let's read some of this sh**. Censorship and changes, huh? Voiceover adaptation. With the exception of the opening and closing sequences as described above, we didn't read the above, there were no alterations to the animation. The original imagery was retained at all times, uncut and uncensored. All of the Japanese writing except the credits themselves was left in. This guy remained male. Uh, okay, I'm guessing that's like controversial between uh, seasons, I suppose. Although his personality became more masculine and his romance with. Oh, there's more romance, fuck this. Uh, more about crushes, yada yada yada. Uh, this guy was initially identified as a young man by this person, but after that was consistently referred to as a girl by all characters including herself. Oh, Fish Eye became a woman. Finally a name I can actually read. Although the scene where she revealed her... There's porn in this? For the sake of age restriction, let's not read the end of this. Right, ya wee scallywags, we're going around the planet to listen to Spongebob's various dubs because holy shisa is there a lot of fucking Spongebob dubs. Kicking things off with my home country's dub, simply called... Spongebob Squarepants. They didn't change it. All of the Foshki! We fear the few!
Before moving on to another language, I found this when I was searching for the Irish dub online. I saw on r slash Ireland, somehow on a train, they're going from the Marshall Islands to out near Dublin City. Anyways, the next dub I have is one from Albania. You know, the funny thing is, while we are here watching some of the most jarring voice acting we've ever heard, where no one sounds like they should, there are people out there who grow up with this and are nostalgic over the dub instead of the original English version. That's just cool to think about, honestly. <laughs> Well, you hardly expect me to talk about just Peppa Pig, right? But anyways, Feroz exists, but how many people speak the language? Oh, well, that, that, yeah, yeah, they'll basically make a dub about anything nowadays, won't they? For the whole no people from the Faroe Islands that watch my videos, here is a clip of a show I hope for your own sake you didn't watch when you were a child. You know what, to hell with it, I'll just play the Scottish dub as well. Pepper, and this is my wee brother, the wee wanker. Fuck you, bitch. And this is my mum, she's a slag, you cheeky bitch. This is my dad, he's a fat bastard. Fuck up, Pepper, you wee slag. I'll be honest, I only threw that in for a joke. Uh, I don't know or care about much of a uh, feroce Peppa Pig, so let's just not talk about Peppa Pig and move on. How about that? <laughs> Not only is there translated cartoons, but there's also translated movies, such as Toy Story 3 in Arabic. Now this is produced in Egypt, but that's about all I know about this translation. Another movie I found that has a load of dubs for some reason, just so happens to be the Super Mario Bros. movie. There is all sorts such as just dubs, voiceovers, subtitled versions, and title translations. Now you're probably wondering why I'm hyping up this segment by playing We're Finally Landing by Home. Uh, it's because, just take a look at this. So uh, yeah, quite a lot to unpack. Good god Nintendo went all out. You have pretty much everything from Uzbek, Thai, Serbian, a bunch of Persian dubs, a lot of Persian dubs actually, Latvian, Kurdish, Icelandic, Georgian, Estonian, Czech, Cantonese, Arabic, the whole shebang, oh my god. Look, I'll be honest, I could have you here talking for days about the most random stuff I'm passionate about, so I suppose I should end the video here before 10 minutes turns into 10 days. I would like to thank Pat Mac and his video on cartoon dubs and their intros in different regions for inspiration to make this video. I would also like to thank the dubbing database, as almost all of the research I did for this video was from this website. There is a link in the description for both Pat Mac, his video, and the dubbing database. With all of that out of the way, thanks for watching Terrible Gate, I mean Terrible Cartoon Shack, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.
Somebody stormed me up!